Good morning. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Good morning. Uh, seeing it over there if you heard it. Good morning. Yep. Um, we are in. What the hell? Why is that not fixed? I'm not even coming in yet. So. Um, <laughs> well, Zena will be in in a minute. Um, we're in s space engineers. Why is that not fixed? What is that? Why? You should be able to get in now because I'm in. I know. That's what which I is weird. Know. It's weird that. Anyway, um, there we go. Now they're fixed. Oh, wow, I missed those. Right, as you can see, I'm in. I'm in um, space engineers today. And my plan for today, and I'm because it's my server, my rules. I did most of this by hand. Right. But it's so it's such a large project that it was taking forever. It's been what two weeks now, yeah. easily that I've been working on this. Well, I think about it. Right. The real took years well, yes, years, but so. the, uh, if it took years for me, I'd be freaking ninety when it's done. Anyway, so saucer section is done. Everything inside there is done. Um, engineering section, which is this long piece here, done. Shuttle bay's done. Shuttle bay's done. My shuttle's been moved. There is, there is going to be a um, slight change to the inside of this ship. Um, I don't know why. The only connector is up here, and that is not where my shuttle is going to be travelling. So, um, when we come to the back of this ship and go in the shuttle bay. And I actually flew this in there and parked it. This isn't. This isn't. I didn't build, rebuild my ship inside here. It is what it flew itself in here. Get in the ship, fly it out. No, it's staying where it is because I've got other things to do. So my little shuttle, that is, and and just just to let you know that I built this shuttle before we built this uh, this enterprise, right? I had no measurements of this this blueprint at all. What what's going on here? I had no idea how it, how this shut enterprise was going to turn out visual. visually, because I've not seen it before. My shuttle fits inside there, Perfectly. right through the door, right through I the door, that. I saw it. and lands right in that spot. But this is the change bit. Now these are welders on the side here, and I've got connectors on the side of that, so for me to travel safely, I'm going to have to hook my s my shuttle to the side of there. So I am going to be changing this welder out and putting in a connector, and then we're going to raise that up and just ease on over to here and just connect up. Um, but yeah, that's the inside. We'll take a proper full tour of it as soon as I finish this this nail this 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 cell this cell. Wow. <laughs> um. Right. I'm in creative mode. This nacelle is going to get done through creative mode. I'm not going to keep running back and forwards and grabbing stuff. Um. Let me see. Let me have a look. Where's his ship? Who knows? <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to go and grab, grab. Hopefully, this will give me what I need. I don't. I don't even know if we've got any ice. I know we didn't have any ice. Here. Oh, we have. Okay, that's good. Um, I know we didn't have any ice earlier this week. And. Saban went out and grabbed some because when I came in the following day there was some ice. Sounds like the washer's fixed. Yep, thank you. Again. We've got someone in our house that wears air clips. I'm just saying, someone wears air clips and it got into our washer. Yeah, no one in our house wears air clips. So that's. Where am I going to get air clips from, and why would I want? Why would I have them? 
<laughs> Seriously, you're trying to blame me for this crap. I don't understand that. That is just beyond real. That's not messing, that's accusing. Right. Um, let's get on with this. But it's working at least. So if you hear the whiz of, whiz of a washing machine, it's ours. And sometimes it, it decides it's going to take off like a rocket. Um, so you might hear it. Anyway, so we're going to finish this off, hopefully. Um, but we're not going to fly this today. Um, we're probably going to do an hour of this video, maybe two, depending on how long it takes me to get this thing done. Um... Tomorrow's video will probably consist of this, of me and Xena taking the little mining vehicle, which is, um, is it that one? Or two of them. I think it's that one. Um, is it that one? No, that's, Z that's Xena's monster. And... <laughs> Yeah, so, um, well, we tell me more and more to put on it so it kept getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> she set it up to go into the planet, and I don't think it's ever going to come back out if it goes. It just, she's put atmospheric engines on it and stuff, and it's like, I don't know, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but anyway, um, we've got to go hunting for ice. Uh, a lot of ice is needed. For this enterprise, um, the guy who built this, the, the guy who designed this this particular version of it, decided that its main propulsion is going to be hydrogen. And um, it has a whole bunch of hydrogen engines, but um, I need to get inside. I need to get inside. This is the most awkward part of this ship. As long as I get this bit done, I'm not really bothered about making sure that the inside looks right. Because that basically fetches the hydrogen out up, up, and, up and into the nacelles. Although there is um, inside the nacelle, somewhere around about here, is like two or three hydrogen tanks. Also, um, there has been no altered parts on this. Um, Saban was saying that we should replace parts that we don't have. Well, um, during Steam's... Well, we need carpets. Dog just there is poor on the tax that we've got, we've got. Carpet tax that hold down carpets over here. So, um, what was I saying now? Yeah, during the Steam's fest of, um, space thing i think it was exploration and something fest that was going on um i managed to pick up all of the um dlcs not that i want i i, I didn't plan on it 
on getting the DLCs because all they are is cosmetic. But when you've got a project like this that, that has all of the cosmetics in it, for it to look right, I think we needed to get the DLCs. Well, no, because like I say, you could, there's everything in the game, you've got everything in the game, it's just the cosmetics. Why is that not showing up? Why is that one not showing up? Why ain't that one showing up? It's, it should already be there. Everything's there. And there's two of them that hadn't showed up. Okay, let's try this then. Hmm. Something inside that I'm missing. Weird. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy, man. Did you get your foot? Mm. There's a part of this missing, you know. I don't know what's happened with it, but. I'll have to fix that at some point, but it's not going to get done today. It should have showed up and it hasn't. And I'm not going to faff around trying to work out which blocks are missing. Here it goes. The front or the back? The back. That's heading towards the back. Okay. Hang on.
Oh, is that why? That, that might have been why he yelped. Let's head towards the front. Um, we'll get that done. that oxygen tanks all right so That's the start of it. Almost done. Well, I say almost. That engine over there, that that nacelle took me most of the last, most of the well, to say I only work an hour a day on it. It took me a, all week to get that sorted. So we're going to go to the front. I think. Why? Why is that not... Why is that, why is that plate not working? The hell? Okay. We'll do it this way then. Good. <laughs> You're welcome. Huh. Ah, there it is, complete. I was like, why is that why is that hole not filling? <coughs> No, I think the cut. Well, maybe. I don't know. Design, design of this, these, this fronts, of, fronts of these nacelles. I know that there's no way of making a complete circle. Just the illusion of making a complete circle.
stuck. Stuck? What the heck? Red is the worst colour on the blueprints because you can't see what's done and what isn't. Right, that looks pretty much complete. Let's run, let's run this all the way down the centre. There's some iron engines on this. Mm. Good. That's what I thought. Yeah, they're not very useful. <laughs> Why? Not plugged in. Well, they are. They're just not very useful. Because, like, they're placed on the nacelles at the back, and there's only nine of them on each one. So, basically, not very useful. Because you don't have enough of them. And, the, and they're only placed in one di going into one direction where you need you need a 360 degree propulsion system running. And I've just lost where I've gone. Um, I'm there, right? There. That's where I am, right here. I think. Oh, where did I go? Ah, that's where I am. Right here.
Well, they finished the right this now, right? Yeah. And I'm working my way along the bottom of the, well, I think it's the bottom of, of the left one until I get to the back. And that's the back. <coughs> Alright, that's that bit done. So, run across the top. Uh, and make sure that the top ones are done, right? Yeah. Is that the top? There's a load. It's a ton. Jeez. And there's there's the exactly the same amount on the other side. The basic it's a basically what you're seeing in this nacelle is exactly the same on the yeah. other side. There's like five oh, hyper jumps where I don't even see you. Okay. Right there. I don't know. Can't see it. It's right here. This. You got it. It's already Unless done. I got it. I don't know. It's already done. Lags. Oh, that. Warfare reactor done. Um, Verified cross. Warf war battery. And I've got creative on, so I can't say. Where? Back where we were. Oh, you won't be able to do those. That. Yeah. You won't be able to do those because they're a fancy, fancy pipes. Yeah, they are. Engines. Yeah. yeah. Good thing it's as big as it is. We wouldn't be able to carry enough ice for it all. If it wasn't. It's gonna be it's gonna take some filling up, that's for sure. That's when I think we need to go down to the fucking climb up. Because that ice lake is the only thing that's gonna be able to fill this up. Yeah. 
I do not. I did. Finding all the jugs. Yeah. <laughs> and getting stuck in them. Yeah. That was not good. Okay, why is that why is that stopped? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why that stopped, but hey. Alright, so all of that's done. You're not in creative mode. I am in creative mode. Then ignore the energy. You don't really? need it. Then let me do it without energy. Yep. all the way to the back look at that right just uh, going and filling the bits now and engines and jarrows and engines and jarrows and more engines and we can panel out the outside as well because as soon as the engines are done, you can just panel it out.
Oh, that's where his machine is. I was like, where did he park? Down there? Yeah. Also, there's um, there's a survival kit on the Enterprise. Oh, good. It's down at the, it's in the engineering section somewhere. <laughs> it's like, sorry, I, I don't know why they didn't put it in the sick bay. Yeah, exactly, medical bay. Um, but it's down in the uh, engineering area. Personally, I would have stuck it in, 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 in sick bay yeah. because it's more to do with survival than mm -hmm. than anything else. But a plus, there's a part down in the bottom um, that's completely empty. There's nothing there. Huh. So I was looking at once the thing's finished, and I take a proper look around the ship after it's been completed. Um, well, I would like to have cryos, mm -hmm. and it don't have any. Huh. Uh, there's no cryos anywhere, which, to be honest, there should have been because you could have put the cryos like as as like uh, crew quarters, mm -hmm. um, so that there's, there's there was somewhere for people to just log off. But there's no crew quarters. <laughs> no crew quarters? Nope. Really? Not that I've seen. More toilets. Now, t thing is, right? Empty rooms. Thing is, where he's put all those toilets, he could have put, instead of the toilets, he could have put um, cryos. Mm -hmm. That way, you'd have had places where people could log, log out on the Enterprise. Because if you if you're going to role play with this, which I'm sure people do, um, you could like have those as areas for the the people to s sleep. Winter's coming. I can feel it. Now I'm starting to get the sniffles. I woke up the other morning and it was like freezing outside. It's like, what the hell's going on with our weather? I'm refusing to turn our heating on until it's absolutely freaking necessary this year. But it freaking felt like I should have been. It should have. It felt like it should have been on this week, but I'm like, no. And plus, and plus the fact that um, um, it's like. Getting cold on the mornings. Duvet's already back on the bed. Mm -hmm. What? You complain that you're always hot, so I, won't, I don't want to hear that. Well, right now I'm still healing. Uh, okay. I'll let you off. Fine. She's trying to steal my duvet. <laughs> trying to. Yeah, trying to. You've got it wrapped around you. <laughs> That's not my fault. I can't help it. I, I've got no control. Right, how many people have any control of what they do when they're asleep? I, I, I want to know. I didn't want to wake you up by pulling it off. You should have. No. You should have, because like, most, most of it's probably on the floor. No, it was wrapped around you. You, you spun into it like a freaking cocoon. <laughs> it's like, I 
wants to be worms. <laughs> well, my little velvet fro is not doing it, so I was about to go get another duvet. Well, thing is, right, who's the one who actually got it out of the cupboard? You. <laughs> right, because I was cold. I'm a skinny person and I freeze to death. Shocked somebody else this week. Oh. She didn't believe how old I was. <laughs> and she goes, Wow, time's being kind to you. Oh my God. That's what it is. Eat the right stuff, don't eat the wrong stuff. Although I do eat some wrong stuff, but that's. The only wrong stuff I eat is sweets, but that's all I all that's I don't smoke and I don't drink, so it's like and I reap the benefits from that. Zena doing sitting in a chair recharging. Huh. And taking care of things off space engineers. Oh. Huh. That's the other thing. Okay. I'm on the outside. Okay. <laughs> and if you box me in, I'll just drill myself back out. Yeah, right. Where? Inside the ship. Ah. Uh. You see where I am? Oh, hello. Right here. It's done. Oh. Yeah, I came in to make sure everything else was done. That's a big hydro. <laughs> yeah. That's huge compared to the rest of them. Like, what the heck? Yeah, they're pretty big. The big, big ones. You can get most of them small ones on the outside.
survival mode. Now we are entitled to mm -hmm. creative mode. I just want to get it done. I've had enough of it being half finished. I want it over with so that I can move on to something else. How many gyros does this thing need? Well, looking at the size of it, probably a lot. It's nuts, though. Slowly gets done. It still feels slow, even th even though this tool is doing it. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's faster than the other one got done. The other one took a week, five days to finish. The other nacelle, the nacelle. It took me all week to finish that. That's because you didn't go in creative mode. I did. Oh. Just that much stuff in there. Yeah, well you've seen what you're looking at what's going on here. Yeah. There's so much stuff in this nice. in this in these nacelles. Um warfare, batteries, uh gyros, engines, tubing, it's just tons of stuff. Oxygen tanks and and jump jets at the back, jump drives even at the back. There's two of those. Gyro. Oh, that's nuts. 
<laughs> I think I've got them all. I say winter's coming. I get hot, hot dog today. Well, you're gonna stop gnashing on it for me to. Ready? <laughs> oh gosh! I sneezes today. Oh man, I hate sneezing. It's one of the things. Really irritates me. Sneezing. Oh, what would he? Sterling, enough. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, buddy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Won't get sour beans next time. Although I did like them. Some sweets do that to me, actually. It's like they've cut you. Oh, it just it creates an ulcer on the inside of your mouth. Yeah. Like, ah. Yeah. Did you, did, was, was, was it, did you chew them or did you suck them? I sucked on them. That's why. And I chewed them. I did both, so. If I chewed on the right side of my mouth. What?
Alright. I'll let you know so you don't box me in. I'm not anywhere near you. Couldn't really have a, uh, a card without his nemesis, could no, they? No, you couldn't. There's no way. It would feel incomplete. Uh, or so I say, his tormentor for the entire seasons. Yeah. Because <laughs> he showed up so many times. Yeah, it just it felt incomplete. You know. I wonder if they're actually friends off screen. <laughs> Maybe. I won't see why they won't be. Just being a total jerk. Huh. <coughs> yeah, but he, he also went in with the the impression with the impression that the first and sh uh, Star Trek didn't go very didn't go anywhere. Well, yes, but they, they didn't make any more seasons than than what they did, and and that they, they thought it was going to flop, and then it got a cult following because it kept getting repeated on on ABC was it ABC or CBS. Right. They grew up on the videotapes that we made of the Enterprise huh. of the different seasons. Which is why Billy named his son Trip. One of the reasons. I mean, I know that one wasn't out when no, but it's he was born, but I'm sure he's seen it. Almost done. Yeah. I'm just going around making sure I don't see any more shimmering. Yeah. We're going to have to do that through the whole ship, you know. Possibly. But I'm going to be doing a tour in a minute once this is finished. And we're an hour and three minutes. That's okay, make it a two hour. It's a special thing. Well, the the video will run until until the ship's done, so and then we'll um, 
do a, 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 a video tomorrow of us getting a bit of ice and finding somewhere well if we can find a little bit of ice and get this thing moving um, I think if you if you come come to the come to the back where I am I don't know where you are back of this nacelle Are you here? Yeah. Holy cow. I don't see you. I'm right here. Oh, right. If you look this way, towards the planet, over the top of the asteroid that we're blue. at. There's a blue d asteroid right out there. Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's an ice rock. Could very well be. So. Let's hope so. What I'm thinking of doing is after we've got and uh, this fixed tomorrow we're going to jump in the, the ice machines uh, the, the miners and we're going to take a ride over there yeah. and see if it is and if it is then what we can do is mine some of that ice out drop it into the uh, enterprise itself straight in we're going to unhook this from the, sl the the thing so it doesn't doesn't feed into the main base yeah. and then um f try and fill it up and then maybe move this over to where that rock is, uh -huh, and, get the rest. and then get the rest. Gyros. It did have them. Well, I'm on the back doing the, the, the um, ions. The pointless ions. They work in space. That's what the jump drive's for. Yeah, I know. That's going to be interesting. How the heck do you power it? Um, it's powered by electric. That's why it's got a bunch of batteries all over the place. And it's also got a nuclear... Uh, I think there's reactors on this as well. Almost done. All right. 
let's check down here, make sure I don't see no shimmering stuff underneath, there's one there in fact there's a bunch of stuff under here <laughs> I'm not claustrophobic or anything now. Uh oh, there's an engine down here. There's something that needs to be done. Yeah. Three more gyros. Yeah, these gyros are going to be the death of us. More gyros. Holy crap. <sighs> Right. There's a door at the back. I love it. Huh. That's an incredible sight. All right. That looks like it's all done. Yep. There's already power in the engines. There's already power in the batteries. It's been charging for days. Miss some. Cosmetic stuff.
Still finding bits. Now there's some windows I think I still need to finish off somewhere. Alright, tour of the Enterprise. Right, so we're coming in. If we go this way, which personally we should have just had these flat, like sloped outwards, but we've got toilets and a shower. toilet I think no showers on that side and we've got towers towards the uh, shower the uh, toilets towards the back come on let me out come on wow Lots of dead space engineers Why? in here. Don't know. Lots of dead space engineers. That's creepy. Yeah. They're all over the place. Oh, there's another one. There's a, yeah, they're all over the place. Welcome to the bridge, which isn't finished. <laughs> I don't know. And he's on the bridge. I guess we got attacked. Medical bay. The bar at the front of this ship with more dead engineers passed out from all the drinking they've done. Home. 
and then down into the engineering area. Which is not easy. Why is that red? I had it switched off <laughs> because it was generating g gravity on the outside of the ship. There's a artificial gravity of one. It's not because, like, um, <sighs> these stairs, stairwells are hard to navigate. Right, down into engineering. More gyros, a big box in the front, and we've got gun control down there. I'm not going to go down there because I'm getting stuck. And I think somewhere over the back here. Here we go. survival kit but we don't have any um, hydrogen on board so it's not give, it's not topping up with hydrogen well it won't because there's no oxygen on board either not yet right so that's it I think we're good there's the shuttle it's right here I've already showed them the shuttle bay. Where are you? When else have you got oxygen? I know we've got that little tweak, but I'm not taking any any chances. And there's my shuttle sat right here. That's cool. I don't know where you are, but... Behind the shuttle. Yeah, well... The, uh, the the things right here. So, right, right. Um, that's it. We're done. Yay. We'll be closing it all up, and we'll be moving over to that rock. Where are you? Me? That rock. That rock. We're gonna go investigate that rock tomorrow. See if it's got ice. If it has, we'll get grabbing some ice with that machine over there. And then we're going to come and dock that machine at the top of the Enterprise and fill her up. Or start to fill her up. We'll also be taking down a lot of these um, connectors. And sort of like wrapping up our little base here. Because the Enterprise is pretty much ready to go. All she, yeah, all she needs is fuel. So, hope you've enjoyed watching us finish off this nacelle and this little bit of a tour. Tomorrow we get to do the maiden flight and move over to a, hopefully a rock that's going to help fill it up. Until tomorrow, I hope you've all enjoyed watching me and Zena play. Until next time, you all have a wonderful rest of your, rest of your day.